Have you ever considered a career in the ever-evolving, fast-paced world of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning? HVAC is a career helping people, our environment, our community, by responding to emergencies, executing personalized service, providing energy-efficient solutions to heat and cool homes with excellence. John Wood Community College has the program just for you. The heating and air conditioning career or the HVAC field is going to give you the opportunity to work all the hours in the world that you want to. HVAC has a ton of diversity depending whether you want to do design, whether you want to do install, whether you want to do just simply maintenance. The class is designed to be finished in one year. It's divided into four courses and there's two courses in each semester. Well, the faculty and the teachers are really helpful. The question you can't ask, like ask them that they don't know, and if they don't know, they'll find it. When looking at students for the John Wood Community College program in HVAC, skills that they should know coming into it would be just basic things such as how to operate a screwdriver. I know that sounds simple, but that's something they really should know coming into the program. One of the most fulfilling things about this whole position is that it's, you're learning something new every day. We have individuals here that have been here for 45 years, and they will tell you that they do something new every single day, and that's probably what keeps them coming back. Well, at this point, we are the only one teaching HVAC in the area. There's a significant need in the area for HVAC technicians, and I'm confident that our students will be placed in the community. In the next five to 10 years, we've probably got close to 60% of our workforce is retiring out or at the age of retiring out, and there's not a group of young folks coming in behind that to take over those trades. What does the HVAC environment look like? We typically work 40 hours a week. Um, the bad thing is, is that we, you're working in the hottest of hot and the cold is the cold. We prefer to say we're a weather enhanced business. We'll have a schedule of maybe 60, 70 hours a week for several weeks in a row, but then back off to 30 to 40 hours in the following week. And that cycle just goes up and down and up and down. On call is a huge part of any HVAC field, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just like you think it is. You never know when something's gonna break down and we've gotta be able to handle it whenever it does. And obviously, we're in the heating and cooling business. When it's hot outside, you're gonna be trying to keep up with the fires that come at you, people not having cooling or whatever. Same as when it's zero degrees outside, same thing, aspect, you gotta have heat. But nobody ever calls you at the end of the day and says, hey, just wanna let you know this HVAC is working fine, so. <laughs> They're always calling with, it, uh, with a problem of some sort, but that's, that's our job and that's why we do it. In the John Wood HVAC program, you will learn. When a student gets done with the John Wood Community College HVAC program, the things that we would like them to know coming out of it would just be basic HVAC skills. I know that sounds simple, but that's what we're after, to know what the air conditioner is and how the air conditioning system works, how to charge a system, how to evacuate a system, how to check the amperages and amp draws and motor ratings and know how to read schematics so they know how to fix an air conditioner. The HVAC program is a pretty broad education. They learn not only about air conditioners and furnaces, but they also learn how to work with sheet metal, solar heat pumps, geothermal, they also learn how to thread pipe, make good seals with gas pipe. They also learn about electrical wiring, all of the skills that an individual needs to have. There's a lot of different avenues that we work with on a daily basis uh, as far as you've got to have some electrical knowledge. You've got to have some control work knowledge. You've got to have refrigeration. You've got to have a little bit of plumbing side of things. You've got to solder pipes together. The, the most important skills we're looking for in an individual are uh, building automation system is huge. Electronics, electronics, electronics is going from pneumatics to electronics. Uh, building automation system, electronics, it's just the wave of the future for everything. Uh, HAC is no different. What is an employer looking for in a graduate? A lot of the companies in the area are real excited about our program because it gives them the ability to hire qualified trained individuals. What we're looking for in a new hire here is somebody that is very self-motivated and mechanically inclined. You get the hottest of the hot and the coldest of the cold when working in the HVAC world, so you have to be adaptable. What we're looking for in a new hire in the HVAC world, whether it be service, installation, maintenance, or even sales, the first thing we're looking for is, is a great attitude. A great attitude is trainable. When it comes to the service and maintenance and installation, which the John Wood program is geared towards, we also need a mechanical aptitude that they can learn our equipment, 
learn how we do things and learn how the, the HVAC systems work. What Keck is looking for in a new hire is someone who has a good work ethic, is willing to learn, uh, likes to work with their hands, uh, is self-motivated. Growth for these individuals, salary and anything, is going to be huge. Uh, the demand is not going anywhere, the demand is only going up. Um, so the salary range, 60, 70, depending on what you're wanting to do. HVAC is changing. John Wood is training students for the future. I've been in this industry for going on 13 years now, and the changes that have happened in the HVAC industry basically revolve around increased government efficiency standards, uh, technology changes. I mean, who'd have thought 10 years ago that we'd pick up our cell phone and set our thermostat at home? Upon graduation, I believe that all of our students will have a job in the HVAC community. From the eyes of a student perspective, I guess, if you're considering the HVAC program, the program is going to give a student the basics. If they don't have any experience, they're going to give them the basics of what they need to know. We need people that are willing to go out and get dirty in the trenches. Students, I think, are rather excited about being here. So come join us. Um, we have a lot of fun. This career goes all over the country. So whether you went to work for one of our companies here in the Quincy, Illinois area, or you take a job with a company in Dallas, Texas, the demand is the same. So we all need HVAC people around the country. I would definitely recommend anybody to get into the HVAC world. It's hard work and it takes dedication, but there's always something that you're learning. It's a rewarding trade. It's, it's one of the few trades in the world where you actually get to help people. HVAC is changing. Will you be on the front lines? Partnering with John Wood Community College is the first step to a rewarding career.